Okay, here's my new 3D printed Silent Runner robot number four, Newbie. And I've got a couple of different versions before I settled on the final one. I don't want to tell you about them. Well, maybe we should just start with the final version here. As you can see, the front's held on with screws so you can get into repair if you need to. In the back, you have an on off switch and turn that, and then you have your battery compartment. We can get to the two AA batteries. It ended up with a uh, a flashing light in the headlight area and a nice soft uh, beeping sound. It's very quiet, which I like. I didn't want anything too annoying since I am calling it Silent Runner. So let's turn this guy on. See it as a claw foot walker. And let's turn this guy off. And I did experiment uh, with a non painted one. I mean, it does have the vinyl number four on it, but other than that, no paint at all because basically I hate hand painting. So this will be an option also to get without any paint. And this one I uh put in a high-speed motor gearbox I thought since the name I have the name runner in there maybe I should make one that actually runs it's, it's kinda too fast it makes the robot a little bit unstable but uh, you'll get the idea a little unstable and get to get to going kinda hard for me to watch it and the camera here But, so the high speed one isn't the way I'm going to go, obviously. <laughs> That's the way I'm going to go. The parts themselves, there's uh, the main body part, which is, I mean, they're all 3D printed. This one I already have a battery box glued in there, but you can envision the part actually prints on the printer this way, laying flat on its back. No supports. The area where the battery box is, the printer just bridges across no problem so that's your main part and then the back prints is one uh, all-in-one pass in this position again no supports but this piece is separate so when you're done you lift it off the bed you have two parts so that your battery door which get it in the picture here battery door which has a lip fits in there and of course, then there's a, a small, if I can keep it here, a small latch, which you print and get screwed on. The front prints as one piece, flat on the bed, as you're seeing it here. It's uh, hollowed out quite a bit, but again, the machine simply bridges across, no support again, even in the, in the cut area for the beeper to sound. The... Uh, Two cranks that uh, drive the leg action print just like that, no support. The legs, unfortunately, these ones have already glued the leg itself, which is this piece. The cam fits in like that. This rides, let's get more of the parts here so you can see this. Get the wire out of the way. This would fit inside like this. The cam and motor would fit down here. 
and the same thing would happen on this side. These print in this position on the bed, no support. The feet, unfortunately, have already glued the, the legs to the feet on this one, but the feet print in that position. And when you're all done, you simply glue the leg into the, into the feet. So those are the parts. I had the box art done by Ken, which I think turned out rather nicely. I couldn't find any off-the-shelf box the right size, so these boxes are handmade with a heavy grade uh, cardboard for the back and then a light grade cardboard on the top. And so here are a few more of them. Let's just hit the switches. That guy's off exploring on his own. <laughs> Found his own way. Where are you going there, little fella? Think he's gonna get into rough times. Well, these guys are following together like in the movie. That's the ticket.